so it's time for monster high i got another request on my last video where i was restyling powerpuff girls i wasn't familiar with monster high before i got this request i did my research watched episodes and i'm ready to talk about it so first and foremost i actually really like the character design monster high is getting a live action and that live action is going to be a musical so we kind of have to take that into consideration as well as there is a big difference between the previous two shows and this adaptation the previous two shows that i've talked about and that difference is these characters are actual monsters so the design of the characters is not very monster-like especially with characters like these this is cleo de nile i'm hoping that i'm pronouncing it right she is a mummy so she's kind of still very human looking i mean all of them are human looking so i'm kind of suggesting here that the best course of action with this show would be to not modify humans too much but try to convey who they are and what they are through makeup clothes some accessories maybe you can put some ears on the cat people or whatever but don't make their face very cat-like we all know what i'm talking about here we've seen cats the movie to the creators of this musical i would suggest that they don't try and create actual human-sized cats or anything like that or attempt this weird blend because they will end up in the uncanny valley that it's just gonna happen i have a whole video where i discuss uncanny valley in media and examples of it they'll link it somewhere i kind of thought about it a lot because i don't want this this world this monster high world to lose all the color and all the character but at the same time i think that it's one of those things where you have to be very careful because you don't want it to become comical or creepy in a bad way because of course it's about monsters and it's very halloweeny but if you go way too far it can become sloppy and look like you've made a lot of mistakes rather than intentional choices so let's start with cleo this is her in the cartoon series she's kind of like the popular girl a cheerleader i think their squad is like fear squad instead of cheer squad she has literal gems on her face which is something i w i really hope that they're gonna notice the creators of the show and that they're not gonna miss an opportunity to have really bright interesting makeup in the show her clothes is very egyptian inspired but also mixed a little bit with modern ideas so i kind of thought that bringing a lot of gold and a lot of extravagant clothing would work for her you could play around with it and it would make a lot of sense for her character these types of dresses is something that i was considering she could even wear that to school because she is that extra in terms of her clothing and everything if in and her sister also nephra both of them are very extravagant and very out there I I think that it is important for this show not to forget about all the platform shoes and they're ridiculously platform and I think that it should be just as with um, actual characters in the cartoon I think that the creators should use the same types of extravagant over-the-top very high-heeled platform shoes I also thought that if they would want to tone it down a little bit it would be interesting to look at dresses like these because it's still very gold there's a lot of gold going on it's not as accurate to what Cleo would wear so this is just one of the options not the option you know I think that these types of jewelry this is so pretty just the colors are so satisfying to look at i really love this i think that they should definitely incorporate this types of this type of jewelry because it's really rare where when you can use something like that and it's being accurate to the character you know let me show you another option that i was thinking about for the black dresses i think that using gold embellishments by focusing on very geometric looks cuts and layering in the dresses would work really well for her because it would it kind of reminds me at least of uh, the way that mummies are created the way that they wrap like there's a lot of diagonal lines going on in the, in the wrapping so i thought it would be good to think about using black as something that you can use to build upon with other types of jewelry and such another thing that i thought that would work really well is this doesn't this look like mummy wrapping and it looks very similar to what she wears for example here as her pants and right here on one of her legs if they want to they can go full on just one leg to reference this look specifically but i don't think it matters that much they, she could just wear these shoes by the way all of the looks 
or all of the pieces that I'm showing, I don't mean that she should be wearing them at the same time. It's just a bunch of things that I think would definitely work, but they would have to be applied in, the, in different types of ways depending on scene. Her hair, I think that they should embrace the fact that all of the girls have very mm, stripy hair and um, go for it honestly but maybe have a really good hairstylist working with the cast so it doesn't look bad because it can look really cheap and horrible <laughs> really quickly if it's not done well i think that she could wear a bunch of rings like this it would work with her she wears a lot of accessories this type of makeup would be extremely faithful to what she has in the cartoon except for the bedazzled kind of look that she has going on but i did um find a couple of other looks that have some rhinestones on the cheek so this one for example could look great on her and i also thought that it would be interesting to use a color like this that's very duochrome reminds you of the colors that are oftentimes used in egyptian jewelry by the way, this video, for some reason, just finding these pieces took me, like it always takes me quite a while, but this time I was getting motion sickness <laughs> from just crawling so much. <laughs> In any case, I also decided to do Deuce Gorgon, which is um, her boyfriend. I think he's the only guy that I styled for this and it just has everything to do with the fact that when I looked at him, I just had an idea and I wanted to talk about it. So first of all, I want to explain that his character, he's obviously the son or whatever of Medusa Gorgona and he has snakes instead of hair, right? So he's wearing sunglasses to stop himself from freezing everyone or, I mean, turning them to stone. What I thought about was, for budgeting reasons, I don't know how good the budget is going to be for this movie. Nickelodeon is kind of all over the place with it. Sometimes they have really big budgets and sometimes they have really small budgets. And in order to make the characters look cool, but also at the same time save a little bit of money on all those after effects, all the post work, I think that it would be interesting to have more of a transformation happening. So for example, his hair looks normal unless he uses his powers, you know, so like unless he's looking at someone without his glasses or whatever and then they can come alive. You only have to animate and create those snakes for only one scene or something like that. When I saw this, I thought of him. Doesn't it look like this would be a great look for him? Like even the choker and everything is very in tune with what this character is all about. I think it would be interesting to style him this way as well as I obviously have a few more examples of guys with bus cuts that are either green or seafoam green or whatever. I think the thing looks really cool. I think it would make that character really stand out. This kind of look would work for him. It would immediately remind you of this character but not gonna be super outdated in the execution. Okay, so after Deuce, we're gonna do like gonna blue. So with her, a lot of her looks are quite casual. She's like a very sporty person. She's a swimmer. She's like a sea creature. And I looked at the shorts and this this top and everything and I noticed that it's kind of sporty but I thought about how, how can they make this character more of a sea monster without going as far as painting her this color, you know, because it's gonna be like painting somebody a color like that would be very difficult to do for an entire musical. I don't know if they would go for it. I wouldn't. I would just go with transformation kind of thing for the sake of just the musical looking better i might give her you know one of those skin things in between the fingers something like that but that's about it in any case i found a few things that i think would suit her for example this shirt a very fishy look same with this this is not particularly fish related but it still reminds me of underwater creatures as well as shoes like these they're they're very much very over the top in terms of how Monster High was created design-wise and I think that sticking to it to a certain degree would be very interesting. I think that recreating each look bit by bit to the point where it's an entire cosplay wouldn't look as good as making it a little bit more high fashion and then because high fashion pieces can be a little bit over the top combined with the setting which I think should be as faithful to the original Monster High high school as it can be, it would work pretty well. I think they should go very theatrical with it because if they're going with a musical at this point you have to go all the way because musicals are one of those things I, I genuinely don't really like musicals but I think they could be done well if you let the camp in <laughs> where it needs to be you know like don't avoid the campiness of it all because you already signed up for a goddamn musical people don't just burst into song whenever they want to say something so at this point you can just go ahead and do whatever I also thought these shoes looked 
incredible they're just really interesting would look pretty cool i think that something like this it's pearls it's very elegant but it looks like seaweed or something i don't know i thought that it would be interesting to do something like that in her transformation state that she has something very intricate in her design like i don't want it to look really cheap and gross you know and for the makeup i thought it would be really interesting if she had this kind of look in this adaptation um it's quite similar to they, they all have very bright makeup and i think that this would work for her I also have this look which would be good for like a prom or something like that if they are going to do something. I really love this works in terms of just how the fabric is draped. It's so interesting. Just the way it moves and everything. I'm really, I'm always impressed by pieces that make fabric look otherworldly and I think that this types of dresses are really pretty and would fit her pretty well because it reminds me of something like underwater creatures you know now onto Claudine she is a werewolf she's kind of like what I would think in live action any of those creatures would kind of look like she's very much human like she has maybe like the teeth are a little bit the canines are a little bit sharper and is this canines I don't actually know anyway so she's very much human like but she has those like the makeup and maybe the ears also kind of add to this whole werewolf nature and i think that this is as far as they should as they should go in terms of this kind of things so her outfits she always has one of those jackets with fur lining which i think is fantastic i really love those that's such a like i love this character design it's really good i see why people wanted to see like a styling of it and stuff like that because it is interesting obviously i thought of something like this but the inside dress i don't think she, she would wear something with this vinyl texture pushed the idea a little bit further i kind of also added these so i think that she would wear something like that more there's obviously a few more images like this this one is fantastic i think that this would be great on claudine this one as well this girl also has like kind of the hair that i imagine claudine to have the hair is great has chic quality to it oh my god this look as well just a lot of deep plums purples browns would look really good i think for this character i also put this dress in because i think that underneath like one of those fur lined coats or whatever it would look really cute by the way all of these characters they wear a lot of purple eyeshadow i don't know why but a lot of them do i wanted to give it a little bit of variety so i threw some other colors in just because i was sick and tired of purple <laughs> and in this case here we have purple of course because she is wearing a lot of purple and her character wears a lot of purple in other pieces of clothing not just in her her makeup but i also thought that it would be interesting to have this type of graphic eyeliner going on as well and some bushy brows abby abominable this girl is a yeti so i guess not a girl a ghoul as they call them ghouls i like this character a lot and she is one of those like ice queen kind of ghouls and i'm into that because it's such an aesthetic you know i don't know i love ice and snow and everything it's so pretty i also have this look of hers for you to see i obviously had to <laughs> use this image because this is perfect come on right white all white look is genuinely perfect for her this is not as perfect because this is just some fur at the top of the gloves i don't think it's the best look to compare to the first one that i showed you as well as i think that it would be interesting to experiment with some accessories and go for very icy look with it as well as this types of shoes again i'm gonna go with crazy platforms for the entire video if you don't like them i'm sorry but i think every character in this show wears crazy platforms and i'm kind of here for it so i'm going to double down on it it's a bunch of more very wintry looks except i don't like the two-piece under this jacket because i would say i i would want something that's maybe high neck and like a one piece instead of a two-piece but the shoes are phenomenal like really what this character is wearing once again i the creator should go all out with the hair but make sure that it's not looking bad this would look exactly like abby's hair and i think that it would look iconic if it's done right you know some makeup for her she's wearing in pink eyeshadow and i put a bunch of examples of like some graphic eyeliner experimenting with some pinks pinks that are light pink or bright pink with a little bit of gems but i want you to take a look at the lower lash line and the fact that it's light pink could be white as well because i think that it would be very interesting to experiment with frosted makeup kind of look on her and instead of giving her black lashes to give her very long white frosted lashes i wouldn't go for frosted eyebrows but the lashes 
eyelashes would be great like for example this girl like she still has dark eyebrows and everything but her eyelashes are they're looking as if it's just a bunch of snow accumulated there you know when it's like negative 40 outside or something now we are on to draculaura so draculaura is our resident e-girl very much e-girl i feel like e-girls probably they probably got inspired by her because everything about her is the beginning of the e-girl trend in 2020 when it was very pink and black a lot of stripy hair two-tone hair a lot of accessories that are safety pins so i thought that it would be interesting to also kind of not forget about the fact that the character wasn't exactly inspired by the e-girls because it, this character was created in 2010 i think so i wanted to make sure that draculaura still has this classic vampire aesthetics here and there sprinkled you know for example these types of shoes not exactly <laughs> the platforms are not really vampire-esque but they're very much monster high however the type of lacing that's on these shoes reminds me of the style this gothic kind of style that vampires classical vampires were known for before they got like very modernized same here also shoes once again i'm showing this picture basically just for the shoes to be honest of course the hair and right now we have so many examples and may like maybe it would have been a little bit more difficult five years ago for me to find more recent pictures of examples of hair that's being dyed in such a way that it's like with stripes of pink but right now we have so many examples so i'm gonna show you all of them i think that they should go for it because it would be it would be great it would be like an iconic show that has such a like strong commitment to bringing the show to life in a way that makes it look cool but also a little bit campy instead of making it look cheap and th that's the thing that <laughs> the issue is with the budget i have a little bit of um, a bad feeling that maybe the budget is going to be pretty low for this production and if it is really low i'm afraid that it's going to look like one of those disney channel or nickelodeon productions that are very like on the lower end i hope that they are going to have enough money to not butcher the hair makeup clothes and stuff like that and the surroundings and that they have a good writer because if they have those things they can pull it off i think it's kind of like one of one of those shows that you have to you have to commit i think it would be interesting to experiment with something like this this is vivian westwood and i think that it would be interesting to bring back those shorter sleeves with a little bit of this flowy fabric now here this also reminds me because of the length and because of the way that it is falling the sleeves they are very much reminiscent of this vampire-esque aesthetic and i think that it would be interesting to experiment with something like that with draculaura i also think that it is is because she has this heart on her cheek I think it would be a good idea to bring back the whole Marina and the Diamonds aesthetic with the heart on the cheek I think it's a detail that would go a long way that would make any makeup look like Draculaura using a lot of safety pins as accessories just like the safety pin that she's wearing right now as earrings using this ones or something similar you know having a lot of piercings I think that this for example also reminds me of this vampire aesthetic except maybe a little bit modernized because of the asymmetry and other obviously other silhouette differences like the top of the dress being entirely different in terms of time period and inspiration than the sleeve but I think that it would be interesting to maybe experiment with something like that if they have a prom or some kind of a celebration like that where they're wearing extravagant dresses um this is for the makeup i think they should go very very pink she's very girly so she likes this kind of very bright fuchsia pink colors and i think that they should create this character as girly as she is in the cartoon there's no need to make her less girly for the live action adaptation okay so that's with draculaura let's move on to frankenstein so frankenstein is obviously frankenstein's monster's daughter let's see what she looks like in the cartoon so here she is she's a little bit naive because she was created quite recently i think she was only she's only a year old or something like that in the cartoon because she was you know reanimated and that's why she has all of these stitches and everything and she obviously has the famous bolts in her neck and i think that this is one of those things where it could be done with makeup or whatever but i think it would be better if they did it with jewelry to make it a little bit more glamorous also she has heterochromia and i think that they should definitely follow through on this get contacts or whatever for the actress let me show you a couple more pictures so this is also another outfit that she wears here she is okay so i put this 
choker here but not because i want her to wear this specific choker as much as i was trying to find something that has vertical bars on a choker because i think it would be interesting to have a choker that's a little bit tighter of course not like low right here but here with those vertical bars specifically more sparse bars that look like stitching and are less bedazzled it kind of reminds you of the stitches or whatever the hell she has all over her body you know and i think it would be interesting to wear it not just as a choker but also wear it on the arms in the scenes where she detaches her limbs and whatever she can detach it at those points so it would be really interesting to have a bunch of like accessories kind of but they're not really accessories they will look like accessories from afar though because they're gonna be more like metal rather than just a different patch of green color or whatever it is all over her body on her legs and stuff like that just just a bunch of different bracelets, anklets, and whatever it is. The bolts also, it would be great if she had actual bolts. I think that these two skirts, reminiscent of what she wears for other skirts, I really like the belt. I have another skirt that I think is really interesting as well because it's kind of similar to what she wears. Maybe not in this particular picture, but in another one. Having the same theme of being reattached and assembled from different pieces because it has different types of plaid going on as well as their carabiners car I don't know how to pronounce it carabiners carabiners <laughs> those things that you use to a like attach two things together and also there's this skeleton hand which i think is just fantastic this skirt in general would just look great on frankie i think using a shirt that's kind of very good at two shoes but using a skull necklace would be really great for her as well because she does have this kind of preppy style a little bit with a lot of skulls going on let me show you on another photo she literally like has skull accessories and there's a skull on her another thing is of course another pair of pants that kind of reminds me of assembling reattaching things i think it would suit her a lot skunk hair which is i didn't know there was called skunk hair i mean i could have guessed <laughs> that it could have been a, the name would look fantastic on her i think they should definitely go for it like this type of hair fantastic i also found this photo which i think looks not bad and then look in the in the photos next to it there's literally frankenstein right here <laughs> so i guess i was correct in picking that one also she has the red nails a lot of them do i think that this type of nails just would look really cute it's kind of jelly nails with some black hearts on it and for makeup she also she's also wearing purple eyeshadow i think it would be interesting to do something like this with a lot of sparkles dreamy kind of looks would suit her quite a bit now we're on to gulia yelps <laughs> which is a great name she is a zombie which in this universe they get kind of discriminated against because of them being kind of slow but she is the smartest girl at school it's just they're small they're slow in terms of their reaction time i guess physically she's a great character really like her i think when it comes to her clothes i really like the fact that she's wearing this cherry tank top with like a little skull on it <laughs> And she has this like fishnets. I don't like those shoes by the way, so I did not pick shoes like that for her. I'm sorry, I just couldn't. But I do like the layering. I found a cherry shirt that's literally exactly the shirt that she's wearing. I mean, <laughs> maybe not exactly, but you can see that it's very similar. This shirt, layering it with this kind of mesh stuff underneath i don't mean wearing it like that of course because <laughs> i like this choker with cherries i think that they should kind of double down on the whole cherry thing for gulia and i love this type of hair so going full on full blue don't even hesitate go like with a really bright color but make it look like it's her natural hair color by styling it well i also think that they should go with like big white glasses for her just as in the cartoon she would wear a lot of shirts like this like this specifically but she would definitely be like layering it up with that cherry shirt <laughs> the last one that i picked out was torlai stripe meowlady and persephone that's like a group of mean girls at their school torlai is the head of the group this girl her backstory was really sad she's like an orphan there's so much that happened to her before she got to that school it's sad but she found two friends this is them they look very similar i think they're like twins or something like that and for those girls i kind of picked out outfits that would look similar similar to their shoes so this is the shoes i think they all should kind of wear something like that because that's literally what they're wearing look at this right this type of clothing where it looks like it's been ripped with claws you know it reminds me of torlai and her clothing also having like ripped up tights would be really interesting patterns on her clothes have this type of torn 
either patterns or actual rips it looks like it's rips from claws i also think that they would wear a lot of mesh stuff but not this like not the outfit itself as much as this mesh gloves and i put a lot of examples of mesh things like this cardigan also just gloves in general it seems like something that they would wear they do wear it in the cartoon as well this types of gloves especially the ones that are fingerless and mesh i think that it would look really interesting on them for makeup they actually wear different types of color to compare to the other girls. Torlai wears purple and green. I have another look. It's kind of similar. Yeah, basically they're the same kind of application and stuff. And for the other girls, they are wearing blue eyeshadow. So I decided to pick something like this, which is a very cut eye, very sharp angle of the wings. I think that it, it would give them more of a cat-like look without having to resort to changing their faces to literal cats these types of graphic eyeliners also fantastic and i think that just going for a shimmery smoky eye in those colors would look fantastic for them because it kind of gives this bad girl vibes without being too in your face okay so i think that's it for all the characters okay so this is what i've got for monster high looking for all these images made me dizzy <laughs> but i am interested to see what they're gonna do with it i hope they have enough of a budget given to them to have a fighting chance in adapting something as colorful and monstrous and halloweeny as monster high because it does have great character design it would be a disservice to not translate in an interesting innovative way it could be a very iconic musical if they do it right let's see what they do <laughs> and um, let me know if you want me to style anything else if you have any other requests because i do as you can see i do request a lot if you've been a fan of the original show i'm really interested to hear what you think about this if i got the vibe right <laughs> if this is what you would want the show to look like or if you think that i kind of created something that's not exactly translating the show very well yeah thank you for watching bye